Hi, I'm Nyamba Tembo, and I'm an influencer. As defined by the Cambridge Dictionary, an influencer is a person who is paid by a company to show and describe its services and products on social media, encouraging other people to buy them. An influencer may be someone you know personally, or someone like me, who you simply follow on Instagram or watch on TV or YouTube. From the looks of it, being an influencer is pretty cool. You get invited to bougie events, get sent free stuff all the time, and in my case, even get to be flown out to Johannesburg for the weekend. Seems glamorous, right? Being an influencer does have its perks. I pretty much get paid to do what I love. These include things like being paid to travel, to try on certain clothes, and sometimes even to eat at some of my favorite restaurants. But on the other hand, what comes with living in the spotlight is people feeling like they now have a say on how you choose to live your life. Society in this day and age is so obsessed with the idea of perfection and looking like you have it all together that we almost forget about reality. OMG, God forbid your favorite influencer speaks out about how they're going through anxiety, depression, or any other mental health issue. Their life is meant to be perfect, right? Wrong. One of the UK's most popular influencers, Molly May, said in an interview with fellow influencer Patricia Bright how the decisions she makes, others go through life making without anyone judging them but she has the added pressure of being 22 and having over 5 million people watching her every move and thinking things like, okay, well, I wouldn't have done it like that. It's like, no way the Nyamba Tembo can go out to the club or any other public setting over the weekend and have a few drinks with her friends. Absolutely no way the Salma Sky can be a mom of four and have the audacity to pose on Instagram in a bikini. But it's fine for you keyboard warriors to do all sorts of tomfoolery behind the scenes just because you're not in the public eye, right? Some are quick to say it's part of the job and that's what comes with fame. But what about the mental, physical and emotional stress that comes with it? What about the inevitable pressure to keep up with the image that you put out on your Instagram feed? Having a platform doesn't and shouldn't warrant negativity just because we're supposed to have thick skin. As influencers, we are human, just like you are. I, Nyamba Tembo, am human as well, just like you are. What you don't realize is that your negative comments do affect our mental health in one way or another. Personally, I have dealt with and still deal with anxiety. It's almost normal for me to overthink situations and give my negative thoughts a platform they don't deserve. There are times when I'm too much in my head and it obviously affects my workflow. But I find it quite hard to relay this to my subscribers because as much as the majority will be understanding, there will be the handful who think I'm over-exaggerating and have the perfect life and don't deserve to be feeling the way that I do. In May 2018, one of my favorite YouTubers, Alicia Marie, posted a video about how she was taking a break from the platform due to burnout. She mentioned how mental health is so much more important than anything else and I applauded her for it. On the show Candid with Helen, our very own Bobby East spoke about how he prioritizes his mental health by deleting social apps such as Facebook and Twitter as and when needed. What about your favorite footballer? Have you ever considered whatever else they may be going through off the pitch after they score that hat trick? As you get online and browse through what you see, I'd like to remind you of three points to note as unofficial social media etiquette when it comes to interaction, especially with people who you do not know personally. Number one, be kind. It's literally that simple. Number two, be compassionate because you have no idea how much courage it took someone to put themselves out there. And number three, spread positivity whenever you can. Being in the public eye, we're almost forced to always be on. It's like the cameras are constantly rolling 
And as Molly May said, as an influencer yourself, you are a brand. Me, I never switch off from work because I am the work. Take for example, when people meet me in public, they're not meeting me as well, me. They're first meeting the brand Nyemba Tembo before they actually talk to me and see that I'm more than my brand. According to an article by Rachel Hosey, if an influencer is living the dream 24 seven, it's cause they want you to think that. Behind the scenes, there's a lot of work that goes into creating that image. Now, not to say all the content we put out is fabricated, but if I was having a bad day and crying prior to a photo I post of me smiling, you definitely wouldn't know that. So be compassionate even when it comes to commenting on people's posts. That can be on maybe their seemingly questionable sense of style or areas more sensitive such as their weight. I know we've heard this before and it may sound quite cliche, but if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say anything at all. Now, don't get me wrong. I love what I do. It's an outlet for me to overshare a bit, inspire a bit, mingle a bit, and it's been such a journey to get to where I am today. I've met amazing people along the way. I've also shed tears along the way and Fergie lied because big girls do cry. <laughs> I've even forced myself to put out below par content just to avoid people being up my backside about not uploading. But just a note, I don't do that anymore because I've learned to put me and my well-being first. I've also learned to just give myself grace and unplug when necessary because I can't pour from a semi-filled cup. To my fellow influencers or anyone out there posting content online, I know that it's amazing to work for yourself and on your own schedule, especially when you're super passionate about what you do. But as life goes, there are pros and cons to each field or task you decide to take on. So remember that it's okay not to be okay. Unplug where necessary, take breaks where necessary, and continue to also enjoy the content that you put out as much as your followers enjoy viewing or watching it. One thing you as a consumer should remember is that we too are human, whether that's your favorite football player, celebrity, or influencer. And therefore, it's important that you're a keyboard warrior who's kind, compassionate, and is able to spread good vibes. Be nice to everyone, not just people online because everyone's feelings are valid and a good number of people are fighting battles you know nothing about. I'm going through something and you might be going through something too. Thank you.